My first impression was that it actually was not all that different from being in the United States. I mean, obviously, the language difference is the biggest thing that you notice um, when you get here. Reading street signs, reading train signs, figuring out, you know, how to get here, how to go there. Um, that was obviously very challenging. But day-to-day -day life I found to be very similar to the United States. So there's little sort of funny cultural differences like this, but for the most part I, I found my first impression here was, man, this is kind of like the United States except they're speaking German. So I grew up traveling with a family from Hamburg, um, Germany, since I was about four. So the German people um, weren't a new population or culture to me. Um, and I think some Americans have the impression that Germans are very direct, um, not very emotional, but that was never the impression that I had. Um, and when we moved to Stuttgart, uh, we had never been before. We moved into an apartment building that was primarily older people. Um, so we were the young, strange Americans moving in. and. Um, we had such a warm reception. Um, we have neighbors in uh, the states that I've never even met before. Um, and I feel like I've met everyone in the apartment complex that we live in. I felt much more welcomed here, in a sense, than I have even living in America, um, in some of the neighborhoods that I've lived in. So that was really nice. Well, uh, so I had visited Germany prior to, li to living here you know, quite a few times. And, but, but as far as living here, uh, the impression was great. The, the thing about Stuttgart is it's probably the largest city that, uh, you know, working for the U.S. military that they can send you that has all the infrastructure in terms of, uh, you know, uh, public transit and, and, and a big airport. Culturally, uh, um, the language, uh, you know, so much of uh, American English is Germanic. In, in origin, so there's a lot of uh, 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 cognates, I believe is the word, uh, you know, sort of matches, um, and so that's really easy. My German is is pretty bad, you know. I, I do everything by context. My husband speaks German, so he's he's the guy, you know. I don't I don't know what this says from Deutsche Bahn. Please read it. Did we miss something? Did we miss a payment? So does that. So, but culturally, um, it's been really easy to integrate because I, I love cities. I love city life, and so this is such a great city life. So I've been able to uh, really sort of um, enjoy that because in the U.S. you have to drive everywhere. So you never get a sense of, you know, sort of the walkability of a, of, of, of a place. Like around where your house is, you might have a little sidewalk, but to do anything, to buy groceries, to go to a restaurant, you have to get in your car and drive somewhere. Stuttgart, and certainly Germany in general, and most of Europe, is that you can live in a city center and you can just walk everywhere. You should, um, you can get all your services and everything, your, all your amenities are within walking distance. So that's something that we knew we were going to be able to enjoy. I guess we didn't realize we would be enjoying it that much. So when we finally do have to move back to the U.S., we are, that is probably the biggest thing we're going to miss. The idea that everything is outside our front door without having to get into a car and then find parking somewhere. So. Well, it was all new. Um, uh, but I, I spoke the... I had learned the language. Um, and one of the things that, uh, that I had to do was um, gain self-confidence with speaking the language. And uh, I think uh, I've heard from other people, um, and they had a similar experience to me, that there was a concern that uh, uh, you know, people would laugh at me or, or make fun of me or, you know, because I could speak good German. And, and I found that um, uh, that was not the case. And I would, talking to people, um, uh, the German people that I spoke to were, um, uh, you know, patient with the, some of the mistakes that I, that I made, and, and were, uh, you know, kind of glad that I was that I was, you know, trying to speak German and and do it. In general, I felt welcome. I think this isn't specific to every African American, especially every every African American woman. Um, but growing up in the African American family that I grew up in, I was a lot. Uh, more used to uh, politeness um, and things not being said so directly um, and my host family was absolutely amazing my second host family technically um, during the the exchange um, fellowship year 
um, they were absolutely amazing, but I was really not used to being spoken to so directly in the way that they did. Um, that was a bit of culture shock for me. One thing that I really appreciated it, appreciated was that um, it's a little slower here in Stuttgart, even more um, slower in, I, I, my host family was in Arsal and Bodensee, um, it was <laughs> very, very relaxed there. Um, and that was a big, big shock for me. Um, coming from New York City, where everything is fast and go, 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 and time, and yeah. Um, and um, that there was a lot more appreciation for really spending time in nature, um, um, appreciating the small things, like being able to sit for a couple hours on the beach, or not the beach, uh, on the, at the lake. <laughs> Um, like like Constance, um, it was even though these people never like I had never met these people before. Um, remembering that they're just human, just like me, um, you know, and they go through the same struggles. And I had some really awesome, deep, meaningful conversations with my host mom, and it just reminded me that even though there's this big ocean that separates us, that we're all. <laughs> Just trying to figure it out, you know? <laughs> yeah.